Okay, I hope you guys can hear me. Um, I want to just do a quick little tutorial on how to do the downloads for MSFX. I know there's some out there already, but some of it is kind of confusing. When you make your purchase, you'll get an email saying that your downloads are, are ready. Sorry, my dogs are going crazy. And you can click on the link and it'll take you to this page for your downloads. Now, when you do, I'm downloading Creepy Crawlies 2 collection and I've got three minutes left. So let's drag this out a little bit. You'll get your horizontal, whatever. Some of them come in vertical, some don't. So you have the ver option for vertical downloads here. Download one file at a time. Close out all your other windows. Don't put them, you know, don't have Facebook open or YouTube or, or anything else open. Just this page until your download is ready. The Creepy Crawlies Collection 2 took 15 minutes to download. That's a lot of information. So you, And it will go slow depending on your connect, con, uh, connection. Sorry, I can't talk today. Now when you get this downloaded, you're going to go, it comes in a zip file. And I'll show you how to take care of that in just a minute. Do not download straight to your phone or to your Kindle iPad or your iPad or whatever. And that will be another thing I show you here in a minute why you can't do that. After you get everything downloaded, you can pick your individual videos and send it to your phone or to your. I have some of my Kindle that I use to show people what they are. These, uh, this team, it's a small team. Now you have to remember there's not, I don't think there's more than 20 people working on these decorations at all times. Maybe 20. And they are so creative. It's, it's, it blows my mind. Let's check to see how much time we have left on this download. Yeah, one minute. But this time, these I added to my collection to, to do this video. So I have now the Terrors from Beyond and Creepy Crawlies too. Which, while it's a Halloween, Halloween favorites, I don't really care for the Creepy Crawlies. I don't do snakes. I don't do mice or... I can handle the spiders and the scorpions living in Arizona. My husband and I are a perfect match because he does the snakes and the mice. I do the spiders and the scorpions and the centipedes. <laughs> we're, we're a good fit. Oh, so, uh, All right, we're almost ready to open this up. Okay, so it's open. It's complete, so let's go to the zip collection. Now here it is. Can you see that? I hope you can. Let me shut the light off here, maybe it's help. You wanna go up here, extract all. Choose where you want it to go. I just leave it in a, in a file. That's why it's so big, because there's a hundred and some odd 103 items to be downloaded but not all of it is your videos you need for your decorations once that get extracted you can then save it to or send it to your phone to your iPad whatever but I like to put mine on a USB port the stick whatever this is called that way I plug it into my projector and it's good to go I found that uh, using the SD cards 
and even a disc, trying to put it onto a disc, they wear out. And you lose a lot of the imaging and a lot of, sometimes it just won't play because they've been used so much. But this thing I found, I've had it for two years now, and I keep changing them out. I need to get some more so I can put each season on a stick. <laughs> but, okay, now we're complete. Now, I'll show you why you cannot download it directly to your phone. You see these buffer files? You don't need that when you play your decorations. It also gives you the option for TV, wall flashlight, wall lightning, wall spot spotlight, strobe, and the window. Let's do the wall lightning. I see you have all of these different collections. Do you want, let's do snakes. What did I say about snakes? Why is it always snakes? Okay, that's what your digital will look like. Let's go back here, I'll show you. This is just the buffering files. You need it to have it downloaded, but you don't need them to play the, vi the videos. So, I want to take my little stick here. Plug it into the computer. Uh, maybe if I could plug it in the right way the first time, it would help. Okay. No, don't start playing it. Okay, so now we have this. See, it's down here. Okay, so let's take let's do the wall lightning and I want to send them all to the stick. Highlight them, right click, send to where did it not go? Why is it not on there? Oh, it didn't show up. Okay, let me check this thing. <laughs> what <a> USB? <laughs> I just had it in here the other day. Now it says it's not recognized. Okay, there we go. That's what's on there already. I'll scan it. I know what's on there. So highlight them. Right click, send to Sam Data, and it'll move all of these videos to the, my storage stick. Okay, let's see. And boom. There they are. On this stick I have all my, the Halloweens that I have. Well, that I had left over on this computer. And I have one, some Santa's Christmas here's. But if you leave them, I found that with this player that I use, the projector, if you leave the decorations open like this, they will play one to the other. They'll just keep going on in sequence. If you put them in a file, you have to click that file and open it, and they'll play just what's in that file. Okay. Now, if you do 
or when you do a review for one of the decorations, make sure that you go to YouTube when you download it, when you do your reviews, and always, always tag Atmos FX in it. Give them the full credit and whatnot. I hope that helps. We'll see what goes on. Happy hauntings, everybody.